wow, that looks yellow. That looks yellow. hello if you are new in today's video we are going to be doing this like latte fall espresso look very chocolatey i would say especially since i'm wearing this like chocolate sweater um i do have some like glitter eyeshadow thing going on here so stay tuned to watch how i achieve this look <laughs> recreating today is kind of like fall brown latte makeup i guess i guess is what you could say um perfect for the fall time thanksgiving time you know the whole shebang i already did my skincare so i'm gonna go in with this milani um skin quench hydrating primer which i don't really use primer when i do my makeup but i guess that's what we're gonna do today is that a lot unsure but I don't know if I'm really feeling anything from this, but yeah. So um, the look for the eyes is kind of like a shimmery brown look. So I think I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first before I go in with the base of my makeup. The base for my eyeshadow look is gonna be the Superstay Active Wear Maybelline New York Concealer in the shade, what shade is this, 42. It's really light compared to my complexion, so I just kind of put that on my eyelid. I actually got new makeup brushes, so I can't wait to use those during this video. I think that'll be really exciting. I'm adding another layer on top because I really want it to be really, really light on my eyelid. And I'm gonna set it with some powder. I'm taking my e.l.f. Um, corrective yellow powder to set my, um, oh my god, that was a lot to set my eyelids and I know that makes me look scary and ghostly but it works my big fluffy brush to get any access off because I don't want too much on my face I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara on my lashes because they're looking a bit ashy right now you can't even see them did I get some mascara on my eyelids yes yes I did does it matter not, not really because we're gonna go in with some brown shades and do like smoky eye-esque look. Next thing I'm gonna go in is with my nice wet and wild eyeliner here. I'm putting it behind my lashes. So that just washed me out 100%, but there's eyeliner on top of my eyelid and now I'm gonna go on my waterline and apply some. This looks so scary. In the Beauty Treats palette Forget Me Not, I'm gonna go in with these three shades, maybe four even. There's Treasure, Forever, Tradition, and um, what does I say? Holiday. And I'm gonna go in with, mm, I'm gonna go in with Holiday first. It's the black one. I'm gonna just put that on top of the eyeliner. I don't know what it is. I want to look real smoky. Yo, look at this palette. Oh my goodness, bro. Like, this is an old palette. It's from Perfusion. This is the chocolate palette. So, like, the brown on the chocolate palette from Perfusion, just use that. Um, I don't even know. Or use your brown. But I'm gonna, like, fluff it out. I'm taking my e.l.f. cleansing makeup wipe, and we are going to clean up the outer bit. Just clean up the shape. So it makes more sense. That looks a little silly, but in my um, Carbon Beauty Astrology Cancer um, palette, we're gonna go in with Naturally Kind, which is like obviously like a bronzy kind of. You can't really see my camera, but it's more like a bronzy copper. 
I'm gonna go in with Nurturing also, and I'm gonna just, cause that's more of a lighter gold shade in the middle. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. And I'm gonna just dab it with my finger. I'm gonna bring y'all close, cause like, I don't think y'all can really see. Okay, time to glue on eyelashes. Oh my gosh. I got um, Duo Waterproof um, Glue. So it's gonna be my first time using it. So, eyelashes are on and they're so dramatic. I don't remember them being this dramatic, but I would recommend more like simple lashes for sure. So recently I got the new e.l.f. Halo Glow. This is the shade, um, I think this is medium tan. What is this? Deep Rich. It looks like it's a good match. I don't know if I really like it yet. I've used it one other time and I was like, oh, I love how big the brush is. I think I'm gonna use this brush. This is one of my new brushes. I think I'm gonna use this brush to move it around my face. I always love using brushes when I have cream products rather than a sponge because we all know sponges like soak up everything. I don't usually carve my eyebrows out, but that halo glow, that makes me want to carve them out. Okay, yummy. Ooh. I recently got the e.l.f. Putty Blush. This one's in the shade Caribbean. I have to like warm it up with my fingers. So at this point, it's just better to just dab it onto my face. So that's what I'm gonna do. Holy moly. I take this old Wet n Wild lipstick and put that in the corner. It's kind of like a coral pink and it's shimmery. I went to the two shades, Elemental and New Life in the um, Cara Beauty Astrology Cancer palette and as my contour. I've applied some contour on my nose and now I'm gonna blend out blush. The reason I'm doing my contour and blush before I do my concealer is because um, well, after I apply my blush, it gets like really red like this, which, you know, I could just always apply less blush, but I love blush. I go with my full cover concealer by Pro Touch. I promise this is my shade, y'all. That halo glow really does cover everything. Holy moly. See, now I look crazy. Every time I do my makeup, I'm always like, you know, like, I'm always in shock of the trans, not the transformation in general, but like, Loki, Loki. I let it dry down the littlest bit. Usually at this time, if I were doing my makeup regularly, I would have started doing my hair, but I did my hair before I did my makeup today. Wow, that looks yellow. That looks yellow. New brush that I have, it's kind of like a rounded brush and it's kind of like flat enough. The retention is nice, so I'm gonna use it to blend out my concealer today. So for my mouth and my forehead, I will be using my beauty sponge. Hey. And now I'm gonna go with my Superstay Active Wear Maybelline um, New York, shade 42, once again. Same one that I used for the base of my um, eyeshadow. We're gonna use it under my eye to do like a bright eye effect. And the way I do it, I just put like a little bit because this stuff is very bright and very strong. And I don't wanna do too much. This is our placement for that. Blend that out with a beauty sponge right with Sponger? Sponge? The area you want the brightest, you should do last. So I'm doing my inner corners last because I want those to be the brightest. Oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna go in with my dried out Maybelline mascara to just darken up my eyebrows a little bit. Low corrective powder, but I'm not going to like bake. I just use it to set because it is quite say strong it is strong the area where i put concealer that's where i'm going to apply the powder for like any cream product basically so like all over my face <laughs> realistically it is preferred to line my lips with like a dark espresso brow right now i don't have that so what i'm gonna do is use my eyeliner 
little chapstick first because my lips are dry. And I do have this lip scar, which is a bit annoying, but it's fine. I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. tinted chapstick color Aesthetic, and we're gonna just apply that on top. Now I'm gonna go in with the Beauty Counter Lip Gloss in the shade Beyond Gloss, which it has changed color due to the fact how many times I've used it with the e.l.f. tinted chapstick, so if you do get it, it probably won't look like this shade. It has like little glitters in it, so I love to apply it on top of any lip look. When with the e.l.f. makeup mist and set to spray my face. Okay guys, this is the final look. Why do I feel like I should add a mole, like right there? Hold on, I'm gonna do it. Just, just a little one. Oh no, I feel like I need to add more on my face. See, this is what happens. You put one mole, now you feel like you wanna do another one. I think I'm gonna do one over there. How do we feel? I added some moles because I felt like the look needed some moles. It just, it just felt appropriate for the occasion, of course. And I got this nice, um cardigan-ish sweater brown to go with obviously i've been wearing it the whole time but um yeah i really love how my hair turned out too along with the makeup where am i going i'm going to the movies and also going nowhere because i don't go to the movies till later but i did want to film this video for you guys and yeah this is the final look the eyeshadow and the glitter and all that thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video Bye.